video and today we are going to be doing duo no fill uh, uh what is it called again uh fort mares and i'm having a sucker in my mouth so if i saw blah, 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 blah. i have a sucker in my mouth so yeah that's why So don't make fun of me since I'm making blah, 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 noise. So I like this game mode a lot. And if you don't know, you just join the stream just to see what it is. Basically, Fort Mares is a. Uh, Fort Mares is when you're killing Huss, you, you can deploy gliders anytime. And wow, I was actually about to show you about this gun. This is the new gun. I'm not. I never actually had the uh, epic version. I just got stream streamer loot, but it's called the six uh, six shooter, and uh, it sounds exactly what it is. Yes, six bullets. And if you don't know, if you don't know about guns that much, and you just play Fortnite because it's popular. It's a gun that it's like a hand fire. You have to push that button on the back to fire it. That's basically what it is. It's a really cool gun. And if you were an OG in Fortnite and you've been and you've been playing this game or seen anyone play it for a while now, comment down below. I see someone, so I'm just gonna. I'm gone. Wow. Wow. This is absolute wow. He's probably better than Ninja. Wow. I don't get how that uh, shockwave didn't work. WWE Universe, I'm Tom Phillips, and welcome to Five Things. By now, I'm sure you've heard the big news that Tough Enough is returning. Superstars and divas such as Maven, Nidia, John Morrison, and of course, The Miz, were part of the competition. Just because a contestant didn't make it to the finals, however, doesn't mean their opportunity ended. In fact, many WWE superstars have originated with Tough Enough, and today, we'll feature five of them. The second season of Tough Enough had a surprise twist when two women won the competition. Despite the lack of testosterone winning a contract, it didn't stop WWE from signing a young competitor named Matt Morgan. Morgan quickly made a name for himself when he aligned with Brock Lesnar. Despite a short tenure, Morgan destroyed his opponents and became a dominant resident of SmackDown. The fourth season of Tough Enough debut of The Miz, among other hopeful WWE superstars. One of those might have won if there was a worm eating competition. Yes, believe it or not, the Boogeyman tried out for Tough Enough. While he didn't make it to the competition, the Boogeyman eventually found his inner voice. I'm the Boogeyman, and I'm coming to get you! 
The Boogeyman wasn't the only bizarre superstar to come out of the fourth season of Tough Enough. If you can remember the Spirit Squad, one of its members, Mitch, was also from Tough Enough. Mitch also found his inner voice and became one of the most obnoxious and noisiest cheerleaders to ever step foot in a WWE ring. Before being a total diva, Cameron wanted to prove she was tough enough. Unfortunately, an argument with Stone Cold Steve Austin over her favorite match led to an early elimination. Despite that incident, Cameron had decaded. From there, he made the most out of his time competing in NXT, being part of the Nexus, and of course, embracing the WWE Universe as they scream, feed me more. Will this year's Tough Enough spawn the next? So, I have this. We can tie around your... Button. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then I have this. That you wear like a vest. And I have the white shirt with the collar and the long sleeves. And you wear jeans. Uh. And your tennis shoes. Mm -hmm. Good? Mm -hmm. Sound good? Yep. Awesome. Yo. Hey. Hey. Wanna play? The new Fort Mayors? Dude, the zombies are insane. Alright. Dude, the crossbow's OP. Exactly, that's my favorite gun. So oh, so the like the sniper, uh, like the hunting rifle. It's like the heavy shotgun. Two, 240 in the head? What do you mean? That's a one kill. Yeah, and also like the hunting rifle. Have you came across a golden zombie? I actually have not killed a zombie yet. You have not killed a zombie yet? But there's a golden zombie that takes so much health. But me and Dalton killed him, and you get a legendary weapon every time you kill him. Oh, wait, really? Wait, how much health does he have? He has a lot. Like, I mean, I don't like the, uh, hold on. I don't like the, uh, what I mean, uh, the jack o launcher is OP, but honestly, it takes, like, Five shots of the jack o lantern to, to kill him. Dude, the jack o launcher, dude? I haven't got it yet, but I've seen it. Dalton had it twice. Dang. Well, I only played one round, though. I played, what, three so far? Uh, so are you gonna get on Fortnite? I'm on Fortnite right now. Oh. Oh, there you are. Do you wanna play? Yeah. Okay. Dalton got off, so oh. I'd have nothing to do. Yo, they switched to the Epic Game System so good. I love it. In my opinion. Honestly, I don't know if I'm gonna 